In this video, I'm going to show you how to access your computer without a working hard drive. In order to do this, you need to borrow someone's computer, and you need a USB flash drive without any data on it. So depending on your computer, you will need either the 64-bit or 32-bit version. In this uh, demonstration, I'm downloading a 32-bit. Uh, after you hit the download button, you can just scroll to the bottom if you don't want to donate any money, and just hit not now, take me to the download. It will prompt you where to download the file, and after the download is complete, you will need one more software. And I will have both links in the description. You will need this software, it is by pendrivelinux.com. It is a universal uh, USB installer. So it's a very small file, it should only take about a minute to download. And uh, just save it wherever you'll be able to quickly find it. So once you have both the ISO and the software downloaded, go ahead and run the uh, USB software. Hit agree, and then you want to pick Ubuntu. Then you want to pick the ISO, wherever you saved it. Then you want to pick the flash drive that you're going to install it on. You want to check uh, the format drive options. And that little slider option is if you want to reserve space for programs and stuff, or files. So you can just hit yes, of course we're going to install Linux on here. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to restart your computer, and you want to hit either F9 if you have a HP, F12 if you have a Dell, or you know whatever your computer's manufacturer has and that will get you into the boot options and you want to boot into your flash drive once you boot into your flash drive then you can select the option try linux or try ubuntu and that will run ubuntu from the flash drive instead of from a hard drive so you don't have to install anything and it comes pre-built with uh... libreoffice which is a a uh, free alternative to microsoft office so you can access word documents excel documents PowerPoint documents, and a few other accessories as Firefox and uh, HTML5 support so you can use, uh, uh, you can stream videos that use HTML5 like YouTube. So it is a very convenient way to be able to access your computer if your hard drive is malfunctioned and you need to wait in order to replace it. Thanks for watching and uh, yeah.